All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek. And the last time we were on here, I told you I was going online to search for the last figure I needed for the crime syndicate. And he came in today, and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. This here is the figure Ultraman and the final piece for the Star Wars, the Conqueror build the figure. So, guys, I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and let's check out this figure. Alright guys, so here he is, fresh out of the box, dropped off at my doorstep by my local postman. Let's get him out here so you can take a look. This here is Ultraman from Earth 3, along with the final piece we need for Starro the Conqueror, and a little bit of accessory, but let's go ahead and take a look at the box. This here is from the McFarlane toy lines like the other figures. The box is plain simple, big open window so you can see the figure and the accessory pieces there with the final piece we need right there, just look at it along with this little Star Wars figure here. Here it is, Superman of Earth 3, which is called Ultraman, which he is part of the crime syndicate. Now, one thing I am confused about, I don't know, maybe in the comic books of the crime syndicate, Star Wars was there, but I've never really seen him in anything except the, in the movie-wise, or cartoons, or TV show-wise, only except on Suicide Squad. So I'm wondering why they did a build a figure with the crime syndicate with Star Wars. If somebody knows about this, leave a comment in the comment section below so this way it can make a little bit more sense to me. But here is the back of the box. He is the first figure in this in this line of the Builder figures for the Star Wars the Conqueror figure. Here you got Superman of Earth 3 one more time. A bunch of legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom here. And that pretty much wraps up the box here, guys. So guys, let's go ahead. Let's take this figure out the box and let's take a look at him. All right, guys, so here he is out of the box. This is the figure I was waiting to see. And let's take a look at the, some of the accessories that come with them before we look at the figure. First and foremost, we got that piece we needed for Star Wars the Conqueror right here. As you can see, we can't wait, but we'll take a look at that later on in the video. Oops, dropped it right there. But as you can see, this is what it looks from the backside here. It's got a little bit of weight to it, not too much, but then also the other accessory that Ultraman comes with is a small miniature Star Wars here. As you can see, I guess you put him on the chest because these guys are a little bit too big for the head, I think. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to look into that eventually one of these days. And the other accessory he comes with, of course, is the trading card. Now, all it is is just a picture of the action figures together with a little scenery. Pretty cool, but nevertheless... It is what it is, and the display stand he's standing on, but let's go ahead and let's take a look at the figure himself. Hopefully my camera will work with us today, and we'll get some clear, crisp shots of this figure, because it does look really cool. And the articulation on this one, like I said, all the articulation points are nice and loose. Not too loose, but enough to where you can stand, but loose enough we can actually move him around. And this thing is articulated like crazy. Now, as you can see here, his eyes are red as if he's activating his heat vision. Details up and down this figure, you can see all the articulation points. Some of them better than others, but this thing has way, way, way too many points of articulation for just any old standard figure. But as you can see here, nicely sculpted. You can see everything on it, the, the cape on it is a heavy cape, but is also flexible. So you can actually flip it around a little bit. Let's flip it up so you can see the back side of the figure there. You can see that little gap there. Not a big deal because the cape does hide it. But once again, this figure looks really, really cool. You can see some of these articulations. Let me just fix that leg there. Some, the only one that I did find to be a little stiff that I don't want to mess around with is the articulation in the wrist. Don't want to break it. But as you can see here, you can make the head go up. You can tilt it to the side. You can turn it left or right. You can put the head in all kinds of different positions, which is really cool. You can put the arm out at 90 degrees, and he does have a shoulder flex there, so the arm goes in and out as well. Rotates at the shoulder as well. You got a full 180 right there, as you can see with the arm, and the bicep rotation as well. Now, it does have some wrist articulation, does have a wrist twist and a tiltage, but the tiltage is a little stiff. Don't want to mess it up too much because I'm afraid I might break the hand off, but I can show you it does twist around. I just don't want to do the tiltage because I think it might snap, so I'm just going to leave it alone for right now. He does have a ab crunch as well, as you can see here, with a little bit of twisting into as well. Now with the legs, 
let's get the lake forward that's pretty much about as far as you're gonna get it with the design and the costume and everything on him and going back this is about as far as I feel comfortable pulling him back without it feel like it's gonna pop off now once again at the knees excellent double jointing articulation there you can actually fold the leg all the way back like that which is really cool so you can get into some crazy poses and now when it comes down to the ankles this thing has up and down tilted right there and it also actually has a twist there so you can twist the foot but you can also twist the ankle let me see if i can get it going here so you can see you can actually twist that little ball inside so you can you can actually position this foot any way you want and of course you got the toe crunch right there as well this figure does have some amazing posability and it makes for a great action figure now let me get him back on the stand here and we got him right there once again a great figure indeed but now we got the final piece for our starro build the figure so let me go ahead and let me grab starro there we go we got him here now starro finally has a set of eyes so let's go ahead and get that piece and let's connect it here just clicks on there and there we go now starro is finally finished and it looks pretty good it's not my biggest biggest build a figure but it is a cool one nevertheless to go along with ultraman once again, I'm not sure what's the connection there. Guys, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what's going on with that. But guys, this is where we're going to end the video for today. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps up another episode of Toy Collector Review. Now, this one was a pretty quick one because we only got one action figure in today. But it is of Ultraman from the Crime Syndicate. Now, is this figure collectible? Of course, it's McFarlane. Anything of McFarlane's is usually highly collectible. Now, I do have the other syndicates, which you're going to see throughout here. I'm going to be comparing each of these syndicate crime syndicate figures to each other. Now, the other ones that I did pick up, I picked these up from another collector friend of mine that got a sweet deal on them. And the value of those have gone up in the box mint. I think these things are going for like over $150 to $200 outside of the box like the way i have them is pretty much a hundred dollars now i'm hoping that these crime syndicate figures from mcfarland they'll eventually go up in price because these things are really cool now the one thing i do hope because i do hear rumors on the internet and from other youtube videos that some of the mcfarland figures eventually with time and age the joints get too loose where limbs start falling off and everything now Hopefully that won't happen with these, but you never know. That's why some of these figures are able to be chased down and hard to get. Now this one, I actually went to the McFarlane website and found where I can actually pick up this figure because he's no longer on the retail shelves. So I was able to find him. I believe it was, I'm not really sure. I can't remember right now. It was a week ago when I actually ordered this. So getting it was really cool to actually get them and complete the builder figure and i will be bringing more if you guys like these videos on these action figure guys let me know in the comment section below and i will continue getting more action figure because these things are pretty cool now i am on the fence of whether or not getting the larger scale gi joe figure so guys if you want to see those large scale g large scale gi joe figures go ahead leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know that's something you want to see and i'll start picking those up as well but guys once again we come to the point in the video where if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button become a member of this channel hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time i put out a new video and share these videos on all your social media platforms and guys do me a favor and smash that like button because it does help with the youtube algorithm and if there's anything in particular you would like to see on this channel, go ahead and hit me in the comment section below and I will do my best to get that out there for you guys. Once again, I'm Sergeant Geek and I'm signing off.